Hey guys, and welcome to Pendo. Today we're gonna to review some of my best practices when installing Pendo for the first time. This will help ensure you receive the right data the right way the first time. With that, let's get started. Starting with number one, you wanna make sure the Pendo snippet is installed on every page within your application. If you have iframes, it needs to be installed within each of them as well. The Pendo snippet ensures that we're receiving every event, every click, that we're able to load guides. It's really important that this is installed on every page. All right, number two. You need to make sure you're using globally unique visitor IDs and account IDs. This is going to make sure that your data stays clean. Um, if you have a, a duplicate or a, you know, account ID, uh, you know, it could cause data to come together, same with visitor IDs, it gets really messy and then we just have to back out and it gets really complicated and delays things. So it's really important to keep your IDs unique across the spectrum. No matter the framework, we have you covered. There are a lot of different frameworks out, out there, obviously. Most of the installs go in without any need for, for changes, manipulations. Sometimes it's a little bit of uh, a little uh, tweaking that needs to be done. For the most part, they all work the same. We actually, within our site, we, you'll notice that we have both uh, Angular um, and Ember uh, iterations of, of installation instructions. We can also help you through if it's something a little different. For the most part, um, those three buckets cover 99% uh, of our installs, uh, and if they don't, we'll figure out how to make it possible. All right, number four, metadata matters. You gotta think about what information you want to include regarding your accounts and your visitors, and how you wanna pass that to the pen down. This is something that if you're not actually installing the snippet, you wanna work closely with the installer and just make sure that um, as much available information as you want about your users to pass along to Pendo so that it, down the road you can target guides off of this, you can create segments, you can analyze feature usage based off the type of users. It's, it's really important and it's, it's a lot easier to do now than have to back up and redo down the road. Um, when you know I'm thinking of metadata, I'm thinking of things like roles and account creation dates. Um, I, you know, also looking at um, really anything, whether it's a type of account, whether it's a, a trial account, um, anything you can imagine that you'd like to know about your visitor and about your account, um, look at ways to include, include that in the snippet and pass that over to Pendo um, for future usage. Um, if you have any questions about this, again, you know, let us know. We have some ideas on some great data that you, can, you generally want to pass over, um, but really, really important and really, really helpful to get that in now so you don't have to worry about that down the road. All right, number five. Um, for all of you who have products which it, every user has to log into your product, you can actually ignore me on this one. Um, for, for any users who might have uh, uh, users that aren't necessarily identified, maybe they're anonymous users, you know, they don't have IDs, they don't need to sign in, that's an open space that anybody from the public can access, um, you know, this, this matters to you, so listen up. Um, you, you have two options here. You can either track that data, so if you go into your site settings, um, when you're initially installing this and you're kind of going through and getting everything set up, um, you can initially set it up so you can track those users, see what those anonymous users are doing and just be able to at least know um, what type of features they're using, um, you know, how they're moving through your product, what pages they're visiting, things like that. Um, if it's, it's something you nece don't necessarily care about and you just want to fall focus on the track users, you can do that as well. Um, but you do have the option to track those anonymous visitors. And to add to that, if you want, if you're creating guides and you want those guides to display to all users, regardless of whether they're logged in or not, um, you're going to need to option that in. Again, just go to your site settings. Um, if you have any questions, you can see our support team. They'll help you out. But um, you know, your guides are going to default to only display to identified users, users who actually have a visitor ID. But if you want to display those anonymous visitors, that's perfectly fine. You just need to option it in for that. Last one, number six keeping your data clean. It's really important to keep your data clean, uh, especially as you start to, to really build out a, a data set as, as more and more user information and, and, and guides are built out in your system. It's really important to obviously keep that clean, really understand um, uh, user data versus testing data. Um, and to do that, you can leverage our blacklist. Our blacklist basically filter out any data you don't want to necessarily include in the analysis. So you, you don't necessarily want to see um, feature usage, which includes, uh, you know, internal employees or maybe includes um, trial users, things like that you might not necessarily want to include in that. Um, and there are actually four 
uh, key ways that you can blacklist data. You can actually blacklist data by IP address, you can blacklist data by visitor ID, by account ID, and you can blacklist by server and host domain. Um, these are, are great ways, just again, keep your data clean, um, you know, be able to focus on true user data versus testing information. Um, you know, if you have a, a test server, you actually may want to set up um, the test server as blacklisted server so that um, that data is, again, not dirtying and mucking up your, your real uh, production environment data. So really important, really helpful, and just making sure that you're looking at true, um, honest user uh, data. Um, and it's something really important to get started with right away, so you make sure you're looking at the right information. That's it. You should have everything to get started. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at pendo.io. Good luck and see you soon.